Hey guys, how are we doing? Back in another video from Anime Wins. I haven't done one of these in a while. I really like the Everything Wrong with Naruto. And then a few of you were like, you gotta check out the Everything Great About. And I love me some Naruto. So, let's, for a change, check out an Everything Great With, or Good With, or Everything Great About. <laughs> this is Everything Great About Naruto, number one. <laughs> Because, come on, Naruto is awesome. Again, nice enough. So this video series is going to be based entirely upon performance. I'm looking for 20,000 views within the first month of it being live. So if you enjoy it and want more, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment, and visit the Anime Sins version and do the same. Because obviously yeah. if it doesn't perform well there, the series won't continue on here either. With that being said, let's get into Naruto Part 1. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember these two. So they kick things off in a pretty cool fashion, showing off the ninja's abilities to move quick and such, and at the same time we get a great look at where they live and the mountain range in the distance. So take two. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is where his ramen obsession begins. A cute way of telling us something about his character. Yep. Oh no. The music's so good. Despite yeah. being rather old, the anime boasts some decent, more up-to-date sounding backing tunes. Yeah, the music's always been really good to part one of Naruto, I loved it. Scenery shot! Oh yes, nice little effect right there on the blade tearing his clothing as yeah. he moved forward. Very nice attention to detail. Considering this was like, what, 2002? Mm -hmm. These are some pretty nice effects that even had me thinking they were CGI for a moment. Yeah, it still holds up, doesn't it? <clears throat> oh, the blade in the back. Oh, the shuriken even. Damn. Oh wow, that's a nicely put together scene in which to add emotion, especially preceding it with Naruto being alone all his life and then succeeding it with the blood dripping onto his face for extra impact. For this, I'll add two winsies. Two winsies. <laughs> oh, Iruka. Jesus, boys, not at all bad for a first episode, I must say. The voice actor really pulled out a great performance as well, no less. I think it's a shame that I watched the uh, the dub first time around. Now that was nice and smooth as well. I'm genuinely shocked. <laughs> what? I'm genuinely double, double shocked. shocked. Love it. Nice. I do like how he keeps flipping to his like him watching it. Like it's cool. Saving his sensei. Boom. Such a cool way to stand with the shadow on his face. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of impacting editing technique, but I like it so far. Mm. <laughs> Genuinely lovely song and artwork at this first ED. It's one of the extremely few EDs that has ever caught my ear on the first time that I've heard it. Class. Mm -hmm. Naruto's equally funny reaction to this kid's funny accusation of him tripping him up somehow. This is a good little simple way of explaining how things work within the ninja world. This bait and switch equals lols galore. Hmm, nice. <laughs> oh, there. Of course. Nice way of avoiding exposition when you follow up your statement with something like that, because at least then it makes sense. Nice bit of mm. subtle character development gives us a consistent look into Naruto's treatment growing up and still continuing now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, I was literally just about to write a sim for him, having said you're good, when he did nothing, so and then he, then said, he that. said that, and then I wrote this, and now I'm saying it out loud, and I liked that a lot. Seriously, it was genuinely it's funny. funny. There were some good comedy moments within the first like part of Naruto, especially the opening. AKA discount Winry, but in a good way, you know. Whoa. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. The kiss. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this scene, but it's definitely getting a win for making me laugh a little too hard. It was funny first time round, though. I did like the split personality thing you did with Sakura at the start as well. That was cool. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. The fact that the prank actually worked, which is a nice switcheroo of sorts, and all of their reactions to it having succeeded makes for a good laugh. On top of this though, the anime has spent the last two episodes giving us some nice doses of character development for these three, and stuff like this only further helps that cause. Yeah. Everything great about the first bit of Naruto. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably mention at this point in time that the general idea behind this anime of a society of ninjas, the boys the who boys? are in charge, <laughs> summoning energy within oneself, and all of that other goodness is an interesting and captivating idea. Ooh, the setup for uh, Sasuke's character to kill a certain man. This gets a win because nothing aids a good story like having an interesting side plot that can play out alongside the main mission, as it were. Another good example of this is Krapika. In Hunter Hunter, yes, of course it is. They always get compared the two characters as well. That reaction. <laughs> Oof. That was really, really cool. Yeah, Kakashi's a boss man. <laughs> Shadow clothes. <laughs> oh no. I should have mentioned back in episode one. Kudos for them actually drawing all of those narratives. That's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Do, do, do. Music's so good. Do, do. Oh yes, that was brilliant, and mostly because it was so genuinely unexpected by me. Unexpected result was also unexpected. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, so I'm learning That's just Sakura's character so far, all over though. <laughs> oh wow, for a kid the same age as Naruto yeah, he's actually pretty, pretty good. good yeah. I can easily see that this character is going to be the dark and serious one that's good at fighting naturally. You know, like a Final Fantasy main character. Yeah. Oh yeah. Kakashi's like, what? <laughs> oh, she's so useless. Yeah, please see win number 36. The rest of this episode was pretty good as well, but nothing in particular stood out to me. But I did want to say I liked how teamwork was prioritized at the end and how they ended up actually passing as a result of that. Yeah. It feels like the character progression is being moved on to the next stage. Oh, is this where we get the explanation of the ranking system? Getting a simple but still pretty in-depth look at how the ranking structure works helps to set up later world building in terms of characters' expected power levels and such. Yeah, it's like when they go on missions and that and they're like, wait a minute, but he's this level. Oh, they can't be able to deal with that. Oh, they're not that level. <laughs> okay, this really made me laugh hard. This answers one of the many questions about the wider world that I've had, and they did it without expositions, which is just noise. Noise. Oh. World mapping this bitch like a real mad lad. <laughs> oh, this was such a cool moment. Traps it on the tree and then just lands on both their hands, which is so freaking boss. Doesn't half make for some entertaining moments during the battle so far. 
This was some most excellent character building for our boy Naruto. He essentially <laughs> lives to be noticed by others for his wanted greatness in life and in reality to be loved as well. Him taking this devastating moment caused by fear and hesitation and turning it into something this emotional was great. And the speech was oh, really nice. Oh, his hands get the poison out of them, yeah. Oof. <laughs> I forget how many funny moments there are in the start of Naruto. It's a good mixture of emotional and funny. Yeah. I've got to say, Naruto's vocal takes really sell me on his personality. I really enjoy the voice actor's work in general, but when the whole nanny nanny thing happens, it just makes me chuckle, to be honest. I'm so glad he didn't do the English dub version of this. <laughs> just be believe it. Believe it. <laughs> Instead of doing what almost every anime character would do in this situation, this old dude tries to put the guilt trip on them, and it's hilarious because it's so unusual to what I'm used to. Getting to see a completely different area in both nature and design. Yeah, everywhere they go looks different, right? Oh, poor rabbit. <laughs> Let's be real, if you know me from previous videos and what I'm like with animals, yeah, you don't you like animals getting hurt at all. Two wins here. So yeah, as soon as anything has like, like an animal getting hurt or anything, it's just like sin, sin, sin straight away. Like. I must admit that this older ninja so you can imagine what he's like with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, we see the Sharon gun for the first time. Hunter Hunter anyone? Yeah. yeah I love it too. This whole minute and a half oh, long is is so two wins, cool. excellent levels of tension <laughs> My favorite up villain. To and including the moment he appears among the three youngsters. Then we get a hope moment whereby a water clone is destroyed and then the twist and reveal. The only thing that worries me is if they overuse the sensei being killed, but really he just substituted or something, you know? <laughs> One of the win I wanted to quickly talk about has got to be how battles in this anime seem, at least so far, to be very different from the other huge anime I've seen. Mm -hmm. What I mean by this is that battles are more fitting of the ninja theme. It's about tricks and wits instead of <laughs> yeah. repetitive movements like Dragon Ball Z, for example. And I Large like the key blasts as as and who's the strongest obviously. pushing the other one back. Oh, the music. Oh, good. I like this a lot. It feels like his character has developed a hell of a lot more than what is usual over just the previous eight episodes. This is normally what I'd be expecting from around 30 to 40 or so episodes. I was just trying to get Kakashi out of the, um, the water prison that Zabuz has made. It is, isn't it? Naruto rushing off to get back his headband and even being attacked during the process is again another nice bit of development showing off his determination to become a full-fledged ninja even in the face of death. So far at least this anime seems very good at naturally squeezing in large amounts of development into a short amount of episodes and yet still have it come across as though it's not rushing things. <laughs> This was class. Okay, I don't this how was they class. Did anything that they just did, but my yeah. <laughs> it's like, how does that Once make any again, sense? But visually, it's freaking cool. With multiple tricks from just a single attack. And then I really enjoyed the multiple angles from the result of the attack being shown as well. Just adds to the epicness, I suppose. Take two. It's just, it's that it's so cool that they did it again in Boruto against Momoshiki, didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't they? Yes, they did. Okay, once again, that's just an outstanding level of planning for a battle that, for me, kind of rivals the stuff they come up with during battles in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders onwards, mainly. <laughs> yes, he did, because he smiled, and I wondered why he would do that. Very clever and nice to add that. <laughs> oh, the hand signs at the exact same time as Abbas is making them. I don't know what any of this is, but the sound effects on the voices in the background are badass and kind of lead you to assume something cool is going to happen. Oh, uh, the water dragon. I like how the bulge of water closest to their sensei was ever so slightly smaller, because the idea is meant to be that he copied it almost, almost perfectly. perfectly in sync with his opponent. So oh, that's that's a, like, that is a nice little attention to detail, isn't it? That's cool. 
Juicy Joe Star. <laughs> to a genuinely great first proper battle, one that I really enjoyed a lot. Oh, Kakashi's all pooped out. Jaja! <laughs> 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 Pretty straightforward and simple explanation of how power works in this anime, and I gotta admit, I prefer it not taking too long to explain or being too complicated. Mm. Don't overcomplicate. Like the Nen system in Hunter Hunter can be a bit like, uh, what? <laughs> oh, I tried to climb up the tree. His reaction to hearing that after he was self praising was absolutely hilarious. Oof. Potential. Foreshadowing like a bounce. Yeah, that is some major foreshadowing, isn't it? As always, if you did enjoy it and would like to see more, then be sure to hit that like button. I'm also interested to know your thoughts on the anime. It seems widely liked and also seemingly disliked by quite a few people, and I'd like to know why without spoilers. The majority of you guys that okay, watch this channel guys, love Naruto. Video, <laughs> you should check out the anime Sins version for a laugh or two as well. We've already done the anime Sins one. Well. I don't know whether to do everything wrong with Naruto Part 2. I might do it uh, at some point. I don't know if there's ever everything great about Part 2. But yeah, I feel like doing everything wrong with Fairy Tale number 1 as well, just to have a little bit of a look back at how that started. That's always cool to do that. Um, I mean, animation. Is it animation? So, Anisons have done everything wrong with ordinal scale which i've still not fucking watched yet <laughs> i've got like three videos i want to watch after watching ordinal scale so i'm going to try and fit those in uh at some point but yeah i like these and there's a nice little look back at how naruto started which is uh just cool anyway thank you guys very much for watching what do you guys think of that what do you guys think of this click like subscribe if you haven't already leave comments down below let me know what i should watch and discuss in future videos and i'll see you guys all you guys next time